you know, I'll take you through it at least uh, normal mode. If you guys want to see more than that, we can. I can definitely, you know, do a little more. Maybe go into nightmare mode. Um, I have not made it to hell mode with any of my characters yet. It is quite difficult to get through nightmare mode. I'm not gonna pretend that I am having an easy time of it. One of the things that really impressed me about this game is the integration of multiplayer. So here is my Here is my social window. Sorry about that. Had to take a drink. Here's my social window, and you can see, you know, my friends are all lined up here. And if the if your friends are in the same difficulty level as you, then all you really have to do is click over on their name and. Uh, click on the little add button and go join their game it's pretty nice about three seconds and you're in you know a shared game or a public game now another option you have is if you haven't made any friends in the Diablo community yet you can always you know join a public game and here's some more lore. And his wife have offered to let me and grandmother continue to stay Which with just them. all the little I stories within this game are pretty impressive. Are I am still tormented by horrific nightmares. And in this game, another cool thing that might be a little different if you haven't played Diablo 3 against... Or if you've played Diablo 2 but haven't played Diablo 3. Gold actually means something because you can use it in the new auction house which is a pretty cool setup so we'll go here and I've got nothing of value yet and now I'm going to assist oh, Leah here Now, for this video, I'm probably going to rescue Uncle Deckard, and then uh, from there, you know, it'll be a new episode, new part. So, try to keep these videos not super long, but shorter than well about a length that most people could probably stomach and this Captain Dalton unique monster here The uh, the wizard is definitely what I would like to call the rock star of all the characters. He kind of has a swag about him. He doesn't he does his own thing. Doesn't take anything from anybody. So we'll put on this bow here. Should give me some more damage. Now just because I'm a wizard doesn't mean I have to always use a wand. I can also use clubs. can use a bow. But generally, you know, the wands are the... are the signature weapon. 
of the wizard. And my mother's journal. What I've seen of it is just a So I've I leveled up here. Within his troubled heart, I consoled him as best I could. Regardless, wherever he's headed, hell will surely follow him. So we're gonna grab a couple shadows close in on Tristram once again. Different spells here, and then I got my first Got the first of my hotkey skills here. Now the wizard does have this shock pulse. It's a little random. Um, so you gotta be kind of patient with it because it, it does go out in random a random dispersal. Here I'll show you kind of a a cone it's an unpredictable charge it says so it is kind of difficult to really tell what it's going to do but it is very powerful so that's nice and here we have the old cathedral And there's one of my nuking spells. Here you can see where the fallen star has come down. Something else I noticed was nice about Diablo is the ability to use the environment against your enemies. It's always useful. So, for instance, I dropped that and I get a little reward for it, a little XP boost. And there's my Frost Nova. It uh, sends out a freezing pulse. I could have also dropped the chandelier on them if I could have got behind them. And that's a good area of effect attack. And, yep, gotta love those guys. They explode and release more creatures. It's the but they hide many grotesques, they're called. They're big and ugly, and I hate them. It is said my name is they appear in some form or another throughout the game. They're kind of one of those staple monsters that we're going to see all the time. And I'm going to drop this chandelier, and of course it goes the wrong way. <laughs> Ooh. I'm so good, I astound myself. Of course. You can hear his little taunts there. He says he's so good he can as he astounds himself. And uh so he's pretty humble. Again, doing lots of damage, but very difficult to survive if I get too many mobs on top of me. Need more arcane power. Help me. As you can see there, took about one hit. <laughs> took me down to almost death. And I apologize, I've listened to this lore about 
15 times, so I'm not really interested. Um, I don't know, if you really want to hear it, I encourage you to to pick up the game, or... Um, there is a free trial included with uh, the game, if you know somebody who has it. You can play up to level 13. And, uh get to the first kind of sub boss that uh all right here's one of the new ele another new element of uh of Diablo 3 is some devious little goblins have been robbing our merchants the when treasure they goblin. They simply open portals and disappear with the most aggravating chuck. So, basically, they're like a moving, walking, talking treasure chest. And that allows you to get some nice pickups. But they're pretty hard to kill. They have a uh, high attack, or no attack, sorry. They have a high defense and a lot of health. So you have to really be diligent when you're attacking them. All right, so definitely victim here of the random map generation because I I've gotten through this dungeon in about five minutes before and you know this time it's taking me a little longer there we go so now I'm nearing where I need to go and these mobs, of course, are going to descend on me. Now, if you played the... If you played the beta version of this game... I'm not going to get quite that far. You probably recall that it, that it took you more than just a couple minutes to, to get to the for sub boss but and there you see me blasting away I am gonna get to where I uncle get rescue uncle Deckard excuse me and uh, you know kinda give people a good idea of what the first oh, half hour of the game's about okay and I've run into some teleporters which is always a tons of fun. If you're unfamiliar, these guys can basically well, they teleport. So that's fun. That's my new skill, Arcane Orb. Basically pure energy that I throw around there and uh And he's going to change into a zombie so I can kill him. It's very unfortunate. Uh, and alright, cool. My favorite. I have, like I said, I have played the game through with the monk and I'm almost there with the barbarian so um, I will tell you that there are some cool things that happen in the plot but like I said I, I still don't think the story beats Diablo 2 and Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction not that this is a bad game it's just Diablo's story was that good Diablo 2 and here I found Deckard and he's running from some skeletons. She gets very lucky there. The power of the fallen 
And there we see a uh, familiar face, if not in the same form. It's uh, King Leoric in the form of the Skeleton King, who is going to be our first sub-boss. But we will not get that far this time, I'm afraid. So you have to tune in next time if you want to see me take on the Skeleton King. And here I'm just going to run into the Royal Executioner. I'll get him nice and nice and frosty. I don't have enough arcing power. And there we go. Took him out. Let's look at some inventory here. Now, uh, another nice thing about this game is you can increase your magic find, which is kind of cool. Kind of lets you set your own your own uh, luck at finding rare items or magical items. So. Here I found Uncle Deckard. And of course he's stinking old as dirt. And we found a secret passage. And for you older, older true fans of the series, Deckard no longer says stay a while and listen. It's kind of just old and overused, I guess, eh? So, back to new Tristram. And we'll see I another video here. I've rescued the uncle. Deckard Kane there. And Let's Play fans, that's going to do it for this episode of Let's Plays with MTG Avatar. If you tune in next time, you'll see me take on the Skeleton King, and we'll see what he has in store for us. He'll be our first sub-boss, and should prove to be a nice challenge. So tune in next time. Thanks.